This is a video showing how to create a map display within SparkView. When you've collected a run of data that includes GPS data, you can display this data within the map display. To create a map display, select the Create Page button at the top of the screen. Once you've done that, select the largest template at the right hand side. Once that collection of icons shows up, select the world with the position marker on it. And then at the upper left hand side, click on Select Measurement. And then from the right hand side, select the measurement that you wish to display. Once you've selected your measurement, it will zoom out to a view of the entire world. To quickly zoom into your data set, select the icon for the position marker. That will zoom in on your data set and display that on a map background if you have access to the internet. You can zoom in on the path that you've taken by using the magnification buttons on the upper left hand side of the screen. You can press the plus button to zoom in or the minus button to zoom out. If you're using a device that has a mouse wheel, you can also zoom in or zoom out using the mouse wheel. You can uh, move the map around by clicking, holding, and dragging around as well. So once you have your map, uh, your data displayed as you wish, it's recommended that you take a snapshot of the data to enable easier comparison between the data sets. So if you click on the snapshot tool, that will preserve both the display of your data and the background information from the map. If you can't see the background information from the map, that indicates that you're likely not connected to the internet. Your collected data is still there, it's just that the data for the map is not available. That data will show up when you have access to the internet, so you can save your file and then transfer it to a device that is connected to the internet. So once you have your snapshot collected, you'll have uh, that background preserved even if you're not connected to the internet in the future. If you are connected to the internet, you can click on the expand button that's under the magnification buttons and that will allow you to select a variety of different backgrounds. The background information is going to be dependent upon which data has been collected for the area that you've taken your measurements and also at the resolution that's allowed by local government. To help with the comparison of data, you can select a different measurement at the upper left hand side. When you collect, uh, click on this, the map will again rescale back out to the world. We'll go through the process again. We go to the uh, position marker. That will zoom in on your data. And then if you wish to further zoom in, you can either use the zoom in button or the mouse wheel if uh, your device is so equipped. If the display of the units is not to your liking on the lower right hand side, you can change that by clicking on the properties button and changing between metric or non-metric or imperial units. Once you've done that, you can see that the, uh, the units have changed here. If you do not wish to have your legend displayed, you can deselect the legend so that will open up more space on your display.